Cash just wants to go for a ride in the car. Hey, uh, so what's up everybody? I'm Chris Cut, and that's extra on Instagram. That's Cash's dog. If you guys watched my last video, you know that he had vestibular disease from a stroke and that he's made a full recovery. So he's getting older. So what I want to do is start doing my cross country trip with him and exploring and seeing new places and finding, you know, places for him to smell and trees for him to pee on. And I want to have him swim in the Pacific Ocean. So we're going to start doing a lot of traveling. One of the things I got for this so that him and I can explore places is a 1982 Honda Moto Campo. The Honda Moto Campo came in a key car. Everything's kind of miniaturized in Japan. They charge you taxes on vehicles based on their size. So the idea was that in the Honda City Turbos, which are small key cars, 660cc engines, tiny miniaturized things, little three cylinders. The idea was there's a lot of traffic in Tokyo so people needed to get around and there needed to be a solution to the traffic so honda said here here's a foldable briefcase like motorcycle that you could put in the back of your key car and you park it on the outskirts of tokyo and what you do is you open up the back hatch and you pull out your moto combo unfold it and that's how you get around tokyo so that was kind of the purpose of this thing it was for congested cities now I plan to use it for its actual purpose. So when me and Cassius go to cities, parking's hard anywhere in any cities, especially when you have to find a double parking space right next to each other, where you, and then you have to parallel park an NSX with a trailer that's longer than a stretch limo. So I plan to park it on the outskirts of places and uh, kind of bring the Moto Compo to putt around. So for example, when I go to Chicago with Cassius, uh, I will plan on parking the NSX on the outskirts, probably at my brother's place when I go to visit him. And then me and Cassius will put around on the Moto Campo uh, in Chicago. So you're wondering, how do I fit a dog on a motorcycle? And so now that he's made a recovery and I'm looking forward to doing this with him, I have got him this. And it makes it possible for me and him to explore cities, campgrounds together uh, where walking where distances may be a little too far for him he is getting older so uh if i walk him too far he limps a little bit but all in all he's doing great for his age and i'm very grateful for that so cassius is doing much much better and uh so i want to take him on a road trip and i remember the last time uh we went with the camping with horses it was a big island and there was a lot of places to get around and go see and explore and uh it made it difficult because there's no sidecar on the moto Campo. So I wanted to make him a sidecar, um, and I started looking on Facebook Marketplace at Radio Flyer Wagons. I found one that was a trailer for like a wagon. It was pretty cool, uh, but it was too small for him. Um, so I ended up buying that thing back there, which is a bicycle trailer for dogs, and I'm going to try to hook it up to the Moto Campo. Um, I may modify it and turn it into a sidecar, uh, so we'll see how this goes. I'm going to go home right now. And I'm going to hook it up, and uh, we'll see how he likes it. <laughs> so I'm sure it's going to take some getting used to. The Moto Campo barely pulls my fat ass around. It only has like one and a half horsepower and like a half a pound of torque or something. So uh, we won't be going up any hills, but for flat level places like campgrounds to explore, it should work fine. So we'll see what's going on. Otherwise, I'll have to make the Moto Campo more fast. Cash is Let me just put this on here. Should have suspension bolt. Hopefully that's okay. So I just uh, bolted this bracket right to the suspension through bolt. And uh, here's a little counter pin that does like a quick release. So when I pull this off, it just uh, stays right on the bike. So that'll be on there all the time. And then I gotta figure out how to run this strap. I'm gonna use the uh, carrying point on the Moto Campo to come back down to this. Sound good, bud? All right, that's his approval. <laughs> First team we ate this, I don't know. 
Cassius, are you gonna hate getting in here or are you gonna be pretty cool? He's usually pretty chill about new things. Might take some getting used to, but. Cassius, you wanna go for a ride in this thing? <laughs> He's like, oh shit, I don't know. <laughs> Cassius, what do you think about this thing? I just thought it was hilarious because he lost his shoes and everything. Cassius' new trailer. Cassius, you like it? You want to go for a ride? Yeah. Oh, he doesn't want it to fall. Where are you going, Cassius? <laughs> want to go in there? Okay. Oh, you just want your ball. Yeah, that's what I thought you wanted. So, the Moto Compo trailer is a success. Uh, had a lot of fun. I want to change the wheel setup to match them to the uh, Moto Carpo, so I need some like smaller black three spokes and uh, maybe some underglow. <laughs> and I'm gonna put some lights on the back of it because uh, the reflectors fell off. So yeah, but Cash just seemed to enjoy it. He didn't have much against it. I'm sure he's not as comfortable as if he's in the car, but it'll be great for putting around things. Uh, I went a few miles down the road to my buddy's shop and uh, hung out there for a while. Then I practiced wheelies on the Moto Compo, which did not go well uh, with the trailer on it. <laughs> I didn't drop it or anything, but I almost did. Uh, Cash just wasn't in the trailer for that. Uh, but yeah, I had fun, and I'm glad I got this thing. Um, I might just keep it in the configuration it's in now. It seems to work okay. Um, I'll probably do something about the exhaust. It seems to mostly go underneath the trailer, but just in case I don't want any hitting them in the face. So I will have to do something about that. Maybe a big blast pipe going straight up or some kind of flexible tube that runs it out behind the trailer. Although the exhaust does get hot, so I'll have to figure that out. But uh, oh no, I was looking behind me and it's two stroke. And a lot of people use smokeless two stroke. I don't because I want to make sure that it's getting oil. Uh, so seeing smoke lets me know that it's working properly. Um, and as I was going full throttle, I was watching uh, the little bit of smoke go right underneath the trailer um, when I turned around and looked. So, yeah, it seems to be okay. But I will do something a little different there, I think. But, yeah, all in all, it's pretty fun. And this thing seems to fit him pretty well. I don't like that the opening is back here. So he wants to face backwards and pop his head out. It should be in the front so he could face forward. But that's just not the way it, this one is designed for some reason. I'm not really sure. But, He's got a, a good amount of room in there, anyway. Um, to, to, to be honest, it's when he's sitting down, uh, he hardly is even able to look out of this. So it's a lot taller, almost taller than he is when he's sitting down. So he's not much taller than it. Okay, so this is how the trailer stows away. Plenty of room in here for me to keep the target top. And voila, that's it, pretty easy. So, that's it, that's the trailer. Stows away nicely, it's lightweight, convenient, and easy to set up.
Okay, so now in order to uh, get everything set up so the trailer is hooked up to the Moto Compo and the Moto Compo is ready to go, you take this little pin here. And you just take this, put it on, put the pin through. There's a little safety strap here. I just hook it right to the the strap down point for the Moto Compo, and then to actually start up the Moto Compo and get it all ready because the trailer is hooked on now. It's easy. Handlebars come up, tighten them down. Starter out, pegs down, and then this little cover, which is optional, but I keep it on. Locks in the place, ignition on, and kickstart. Good boy. You want to go for a ride, Cassius? <laughs> so when we uh, took this out before, and I'm going full throttle, which is you know 26 miles an hour on this, the exhaust shoots right underneath the trailer, doesn't affect them at all. But we're not always going full throttle, and sometimes I'm stopped and it might smoke a little bit here. So I don't want that to happen. So just for a temporary attempt at a fix here or a solution um, maybe not a solution but a workaround is i have this old crappy broken plastic dustpan with this crappy broom so i took a pipe cutter and cut off this and i may weld it on but for now i'm just going to use high heat epoxy to put it on and uh, it'll look a little something like this and uh, I'm thinking <laughs> this is gonna affect how I could fit it in the trailer. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually bend it down and keep it a couple inches from the ground so I could still lean, um, but it'll shoot everything down and then back a little bit. So that's the solution. So the cash just doesn't have to smell stinky fumes. I also put this temporary little seat belt here and there's a harness right there that goes to his leash, but I didn't feel like that was too secure. So I ended up just strapping him in to this uh, top bar right there.
So the Moto Compo trailer is a great addition to this. It folds up nicely and quickly and stows away in this roof box perfectly. It's really easy to take out and unfold and get set up and hook up to the Moto Compo. It allows me to take my dog places to go explore. Uh, the Moto Compo is great on fuel. Um, it's a two stroke, it's great on oil too. It mixes everything itself, that's where it stays. Excuse the mud on the car, we went and had a little bit of fun. I'm really glad I put this trailer on instead of went to the hassle of trying to figure out a sidecar because number one, it keeps the geometry of it. There's no issues with turning, it still acts exactly like it always did. I do wanna do some things to it, I need to put underglow on it, I wanna get matching wheels. Me and Cassius had taken it out one night and it was a little scary at nighttime with no lights. I kept thinking like a car was gonna hit us. So I'm gonna have to address that as well. But all in all, it's great. Everything works awesome on it and uh, I couldn't have hoped for a better outcome. Cassius sometimes is a little hesitant to get in it. Uh, we've done a few hours of riding in it. When we're in it, he's fine, most of the time. Um, he doesn't like when I go full throttle down hills. I've noticed that. So I keep it a little slower for him. Uh, but all in all, it's going to be a great addition to my build and getting us around and exploring places, campgrounds, cities, and using it what it's meant for when parking's an issue and cities are congested and we need to get around and want to go grab a bite or explore. That's what I'm going to use it for. So I'm putting it to good use, using it for what it was intended for, other than the trailer thing for him. <laughs> I don't think it was intended for that. It only makes one and a half horsepower and a half a pound of torque. It has difficulties pulling us up hills. I went to my friend's shop, uh, which is about 10 minutes away. I live on a hill. Uh, I went downhill for a block and then it's all flat to his shop. It took me 10 minutes. Uh, on the way back, it took me 10 minutes to get back to my hill and then another five minutes to get up the hill. Uh, it does not like hills at all. So it's gonna need some more fasts. Uh, I'm not sure where I'll start, probably exhaust. I'll look into upgrading the carburetor things like that so stay tuned guys and thanks for watching all right everybody thanks for watching i appreciate you tuning in i appreciate the support don't forget to like comment and subscribe below and stay tuned for more videos coming shortly i try to release one every week thanks